Isa Abdul Faraj's family has lived in Kenya for generations, well over a hundred years. His grandfather came from the Nubian mountains in Sudan with the British Army before World War I. Isa is Nubian, and for years, like so many other Nubians, he's been stateless. It is, in simple terms, it is the worst possible thing that can happen to a human being to be stateless. It means you are an entity. You don't exist. You're not provided for. You count for nothing. First World War helmet. It's a collector's item. And at that time, uh, and at that time, the entire army was Nubian. All right? When, when, when Kenya army. The entire Kenya army was Nubian. The Nubians' arrival, says Isa, had a significant impact on the region. They established camps, which were trading and later urban centers. Kibera, on the outskirts of the Kenyan capital, was one of the first. Nubians were allotted plots of land. Houses were built. The community grew. And with time, their ties to Sudan faded. Kibera was home. But after independence, a problem arose. The Nubians weren't eligible for Kenyan ID cards or citizenship. And in Kenya, if you do not have an ID card, you don't exist. Technically, you cannot even leave your house because, you see, if you leave your house and you're challenged, where is your ID? That constitutes a crime. Now, if you cannot leave your house, how do you live? How do you look for a job? You can't even open a bank account. You can't transact business. You cannot own anything because you don't exist. Isa took up the cause. He established the Council of Elders and fought against what he called discrimination of the 45th tribe of Kenya. Youssef Diab worked alongside him. Like Isa, Youssef's grandfather came to Kenya from Sudan with the British military. It, we want to believe that uh, right will always prevail. And we want to believe that uh, there is no harm in fighting for your rights. In 2009, the government of Kenya relented. I think the government came to its senses and uh, they very quickly climbed down and even issued us with documents to say that we are Kenya citizens and we are the 43rd tribe of Kenya. The Kenyan Nubian is the 43rd tribe of Kenya. Now, with that in mind, um, issuance of ID became a bit easy. Isa and Youssef now have Kenyan ID cards. Getting a card, though, is not always easy. Still, their right to one is no longer in question. And the consequence of that has got a cascading effect, like I said, to your children, your children's children. So it was not just a, a matter of whims, it's life and death. So. The recognition of the Nubians in Kenya has been a breakthrough. The uphill battle now is to get land rights, including in Kabira. The Nubians here have no official land title, which means that development of any kind is difficult, if not impossible. That is their next battle, one they are ready to take on. <laughs>